It's official, the world's fastest civilian jet since the Concorde is almost ready for takeoff. And no, we're not talking about a supersonic airliner, this one's a business jet. Let's take a look for today's video. Bombardier announced today that the first production model of the Global 8000 is currently in final assembly at its Toronto Aircraft Assembly Centre. Stephen McCullough, Bombardier's Senior Vice President of Engineering and Product Development, didn't hold back his praise. In his words, this impressive aircraft will be the fastest and longest-range purpose-built business aircraft ever built. So, what's the big deal about the Global 8000? Well, it's replacing the Global 7500 as Bombardier's new flagship, and it's coming with upgraded stats to match the hype. The range increases from 7500 to a whopping 8000 nautical miles. On the speed side, cruise performance has been slightly improved, and its top speed is Mach 0.94. But here's the kicker. During a test flight in May 2021, the Global 8000 actually went supersonic, hitting Mach 1.015. That was made possible by a software tweak to the GE Passport engines, unlocking more thrust. And no, that doesn't mean it'll operate at supersonic speeds regularly. But it proves that this aircraft has serious performance headroom. Of course, Bombardier isn't the only player in the ultra-long-range business jet market. The Global 8000 enters a very competitive space, going up against the Gulfstream G700, the Dassault Falcon 10X, and their slightly smaller siblings, the G800 and Falcon 6X. But here's what sets the 8000 apart. It matches the G800's range of 8,000 nautical miles. Yet, it has a cabin nearly 8 feet longer. Sure, the G800's cabin is slightly taller and wider by an inch or two, but for many buyers, cabin length and layout flexibility matter more. Then there's runway performance. According to Bombardier, the Global 8000 can access airports with shorter runways than most aircraft in its class, a major advantage for high-end travelers who want access to more remote or urban airfields. Let's not forget, this aircraft has already proven itself in testing. The Global 8000 flight test vehicle has been flying since 2021. During those test campaigns, it not only exceeded Mach 1, but also completed transatlantic flights to Europe and beyond. And its predecessor, the Global 7500, already set 100 speed records across major city pairs, including the longest non-stop business jet flight from Sydney to Detroit. Bombardier says the 8000 will unlock even more city pairs, such as Dubai to Houston, Singapore to Los Angeles, and London to Perth. That's essentially point-to-point -point global access, without refueling stops. So who's getting their hands on this machine first? That would be NetJets, the major fractional ownership provider who's been confirmed as the launch customer. The price tag? $81 million. And that's before any personal customization. But for elite flyers, performance and reach are everything. And Bombardier's betting big that the Global 8000 will be their aircraft of choice. So what do you think of the Global 8000? Can it maintain its lead in the ultra-long-range jet race, or will Gulfstream and Dassault catch up? Leave a comment below and let us know.